We're down in Shirts, Texas. It's a highway widening project. They're using the CT3000 to do a mass excavation and compaction on the highway. Well, a typical vibratory compactor runs at about three and a half miles an hour, maybe a little bit less. This year, you get your compactor from going in speed. It'll replace several 84 inch, you know, traditional vibratory rollers. You could replace probably three rollers. The shells have square tips on them, and those square tips penetrate the ground as you're going, and that's what moves all the material together to get the airboards out. It's comfortable. It's two pneumatic tires inside the drum shells. It keeps the force on the ground, not putting up into the operator's cabin. It's a heavier machine. It's got more horsepower, so you can get better compaction faster. The cab is a lot bigger. The seat swivels 180 degrees. On the competitor machine, it's a single seat that doesn't swivel, so the operator has to look back if they want to see behind them. The biggest thing, feedback we've gotten from the operators is it's much more of a comfortable ride on a big static compactor.